Hey, I'm Cindy and I'm going to show you how to use the advanced options of Light Image Resizer from Obvious ID. Um, we saw that we could uh, choose the pictures uh, from the folders and right click on the pictures to open Light Image Resizer, but you can also simply drag and drop the file of the pictures you want to work on. Um, here is the different options um, regarding the the way you see the pictures in your software. You can choose large thumbnail. You can sort it by name, type, size, date. Uh, I'm gonna sort them by name, uh, and I like it better with small thumbnails, so that's what I'm gonna use. In the options, um, you can create a profile. Uh, the, what is a profile? The profile will give you the size of um, the pictures you are going to resize, um, the mode, the different options for the quality, the um, what you want to do with the cop. I mean, with the uh, pictures, either create copies or resize the original, or compress or create PDF. Um, I rather create copies so I don't touch the original; they stay the way they are. Um, as far as destination, you can also create uh, a file, a folder, where you can drop the copies, not to mix them with the original. Um, so here we go, we are going to create the file, I mean the profile, sorry. Um, I need a picture for forums purposes, which is actually avatar, so I'm going to call the profile avatar. Here I'm going to choose the size of the pictures. You have here the mode, which is either um, to fit it, here I'm going to show it to you. You have a, a window that display when you click on this arrow and that gives you all the, the details of the different options. Fit, stretch, center, crop or retarget. Here in those options you have four tabs for generals, effects, miscellaneous or publish. For the general one you have the filtering option which is actually um, gives you up um, gives you different options um, for ones. The fast linear, the linear, the Lanxos and the cubic the cubic. The last two are for best quality but myself I like the Lanxos better. Uh, for the policy, you can also either resize, enlarge, or reduce. Uh, by default, it's on uh, always resize. It makes more sense. Um, and then the format. Uh, I imported raw pictures, um, so I can convert them to either one of those different formats. Um, you can you can uh, convert JPEG to PNG, PNG to JPEG, to GIF, to um, TIFF, whatever you want to do. I'm going to go ahead and do that, convert my pictures into a JPEG once, and le leave the quality def by default 90%, which is good. As far as the file name mask goes, uh, it's actually the name that is going to be under the pictures in your folder. So here you have different options. Um, it's defaulted by copy, I mean uh, percentage of copy. But you can also um, use the profile name. So you just click on it here and it just adds up here. If you want it in the front, what you do is just select this part, do a control X and here a control V. with a space and this will give you um, actually the name so that will be avatar the name of the picture and copy right next to it so you don't mix them with the original um, as for the effect you can integrate the watermark you can invert colors convert to gray size is grayscale CPI effect add a border here you can clicking by here you can add whatever size border you will and uh, you want and um, by doing sim symmetrical all all four borders will be the same you can also change with the, the colors and choose the color you want um, you can define custom colors and so on but that's uh, we're not going to do that 
you can also auto enhance the, the pictures um, here are the two other tabs that will give you the opportunity to look into it at your own pace um, for the action so you can create copies that's what I'm gonna do because I don't want to touch the originals and I want to be able to reuse the originals later and uh, for the destination file I don't want to mix them with the original so I'm gonna create in my original file um, an other folder that I'm going to to call um, copy avatar so that's where my um, copies are going to go they are going to be dropped to the copy avatars and then I just click on process if you want to save the profile you click on save processing here are my 17 pictures into the drop file which I'm going to open for you and there they are it's done.